hi guys welcome back to my channel so I just finished making 36 seed blocks and I'm going to be sowing some carrot seeds in them because here in Saskatchewan our growing season is very finicky you usually are unable to plant until occasionally the second week in May but most times the last week in May is when you're able to start sowing your seeds and then you're able to harvest sometimes around late August early September and by that time it is already getting cold September sometimes the first week you might have a snow so I would like to get an early start on my carrots so that I can be reaping by sometimes say late july so in my seed blocks i have 30 percent castings and i have compost and then i use a potting soil that contains peat moss sorry not peat moss but perlite it doesn't really matter which one to me at least it doesn't matter which one of the potting soil i use i like to create my own but in this case i'm using one that i already have and so i mixed it with water and put it in a device that i made and now i'm going to be sowing my carrot seeds in them so the top of the device sorry the top of the blocks has holes in them and you usually go as deep as twice the width of the seed you're planting or grain and the reason I am using seed block as opposed to putting it in a pot is that carrot does not like to be transplanted it's such a delicate plant if I have it in the seed block then I don't have to worry about overturning overturning the pot with the plant in order to get the plant out before I transplant it so that is why I'm using the seed block because it is so much easier less damage to the plant Now, if you're making your own seed block, you don't want to have too much water in it. But at the same time, you don't want to have too little either. You have to make sure that your water content is just right. this is my first experience of actually planting in seed block so I'm going to be seeing how well the plant does in it it shouldn't really make a difference compared to planting in the pots because it's the same soil that would have been in the pot the only difference is 
that it does not have the pot to contain it which means that the entire block is more exposed to the air which means that the water content will evaporate faster you do not want to allow it to dry out fully so when you're ready to water you just come with your spray bottle and you just give it a whiff and away we go that's it thank you for watching now if you enjoy this video please don't forget to share like or subscribe we do appreciate your support so thank you for watching that's it for now have a great afternoon